use a seven millimeter socket. Take these two bolts out on the rear underneath. You want to take these screws out on the side here. You can use a T20 socket. If you don't have a right angle driver like this, you can pull the wheel off. Just use a socket. Take these out. Oops. Do the same on the other side. And behind this panel, there is a screw right here. Use a seven millimeter socket, take that screw out. Might need a long extension. Take that out. Do it on this side as well. And take these screws off. Just use a T20. On both sides. And there's two bolts on either side. Take a seven millimeter and take those out as well. And just give it a yank on the side. There's some clips that hold it in. You could always use a trim tool to help pop that out a little easier. And then just give it a pull out. There's an electrical connector right under here. You just got to push on the tab, try to release it. There we go. You can pop that out there and then just push down on this tab and disconnect it. Just grab the bumper. And just slide it up. If you have a vehicle that isn't black, you can paint these. You just need to take this off and then you want to mask off the rest of it. Do a nice thin coat of paint. The thinner the better. If it's too thick, it's going to not work properly. And then after it's painted and dried, then you can put this back on. You're ready to install it. You can tip the bumper down on its face. Um, just put something underneath so it won't scratch, like a um, drop cloth or something like that. Now from the front side, push, put a little bit of pressure on the sensor. You can release these tabs right here and here and push it through just like that and disconnect the connector, push down and slide it off. To put the new one in, same procedure, connect the connector, just line it up and lock it down in place. And you can do the same with the other ones. Now line the bumper back up. Before we put it all up, just make sure you connect this connector over here. And re-secure it. Try not to scratch it. Just push in that location. These lined up. That's good. Tighten these down. Reinstall those. The 
snug it down. Now install these two screws on the side. Install these lower screws and tighten these down. And in install the two screws on the side of the bumper and tighten those down. That's good. Now install the screws right here. Get those all started first. And tighten them down.